Hey everyone, it's Fitz with a daily delivery. Hope you are doing well. Becky and I are back from vacation. It rained in Florida, so be it. Let's get back to covering your Wildcats with news of the late signing period for college basketball, which opens Wednesday, today as I put this up on the site, and I expect K-State to have some action in the late signing period. Let's do some housekeeping first. I think I've fostered some confusion simply because I can't count or is in a hurry to count properly, I guess. K-State has eight returning players in their younger classes. That doesn't count Mike McGurl on this basketball roster because as a returning senior for that bonus season, he does not technically count towards Kansas State's 13 NCAA limited scholarships. So he's a 14th bonus scholarship, meaning with those eight other guys, they can sign five guys. They have signed Logan Landers, a power forward, a stretch four in that early period. And I think Logan's going to be a fine basketball player. But as we've learned, asking freshmen to contribute a lot in their freshman season is sometimes too much to ask. And of course, the transfer portal has brought Mark Smith and Marcus Noel through uh, to Kansas State through the portal. And that has been very good. So now that means I got two more guys. And of course, Maximus Edwards, a freshman, a high school kid out of the New York City area, has been committed for quite a while. And even though he's uh, rehabbing a broken tibia or, you know, letting it heal up, not that serious of an injury, he will be in this class. And we expect at Go Paracat that Ismail Masood will come through the transfer portal. He has departed Wake Forest, and we expect him, unless there's a big surprise, to also end up at K-State during this signing period. Why is this so notable? Well, Shane Southwell comes from New York City and the young K-State basketball coach played his basketball in Harlem. And we all know that Shane's roots are pretty darn strong to New York. And we hope to see an impact from Shane in this recruiting class or in this program. And boy, has he delivered. Noel, he's from Brooklyn. Edwards is from the Bronx, and Masood is also from the Bronx. That is three out of the five players, probably primarily recruited by Shane Southwell, and Shane has done a marvelous job. And as he matures as a coach and makes more coaching connections back in the New York City area, I expect Shane to bring in even more players from New York and probably even a higher caliber of players. It is all very promising for the K-State program, and we should all thank Shane Southwell with a tip of the hat. Coach, job well done. We look forward to more of your recruiting excellence.